Inspire, motivate, challenge. Hi, good evening. Yeah, good evening. Uh, welcome to Healthcare Soldiers. Yep. Yeah, so can you please introduce yourself and just give us, you know, tell us about your career journey so far. Um, my name is Dr. Ban Jotunde. I'm the chief dentist of First Mobile Dental Care. I studied um, dentistry in University of Lagos College of Medicine. Um, I did my house job also in at Lutz. And I did my NYC in Kano and I worked for Kano State Government um, for three years before coming down to Lagos to start um, the first indigenous mobile dentistry in Nigeria. So, and I started the mobile dentistry 2011 and we've been to virtually all the states in Nigeria we've treated and uh, we move our dental van to rural communities where we don't have dental facilities and we are still we are growing we've treated so many patients over 100,000 patients and um, we also have a fixed clinic that will treat people that can come in into our fixed clinic for dental treatment okay so and immediately after NYC, you came back to Lagos and started the mobile... Well, dental. it has always been my passion to start um, mobile dentistry because uh, I didn't choose dentistry. I chose medicine and surgery and I just found my name on that dentistry. So I, I, was, <laughs> not, I was not so happy to, to have that as a... Uh, uh, a course so to speak so but because of that i i just noticed that a lot of people don't know about dentistry oral health and if they don't know about oral health they can't come in for dental treatment so that idea came in when i was in 200 level that we have to take the dental care to to people mm. so that was what uh, I came about the mobile dentistry. So I started with no money. It was the little mm. money I saved when I was seven that I used to buy the, a fairly used bust and the dental clinic was constructed, was constructed within, within the country. You know, I sought for the dental chair, mm. the, you know, all other things and and so I was using that to treat people. So I moved the van from one point to the other. Okay. So yeah. before you get into <laughs> the funding and how you started the mobile dentistry thing, I, I want us to just still dwell a little bit on the beginning. Or okay. somewhere close to okay. the beginning. So I like what you said. You wanted to study medicine. Yes. Right? But you ended up, uh, you saw your name on that dentistry. <laughs> Yes. And obviously, you must have felt a little bit disappointed. Yes. At that point, so of course, I've known you for quite a while. And when in medical school or in you know medical, I don't know you. I, I need you to give your your perspective. There was always this perception, right, that uh, dentistry was not like the most lucrative part of medicine. Do you agree? What was your perspective? Uh, I mean, looking at it from when you were in school and now. Yes, just... yes. When when I was in school, I didn't really believe in that course because I thought, you know, so just That's about dentistry. dentistry, about the teeth, and people don't really come to dental clinic for treatment and all that. So I didn't really believe in that course, and I just have to, like, okay, let me study through and you know, but I thank God that that I was given that course because I'm really doing very well. You know, medicine is very broad compared to, though we have specialties in dentistry. Mm -hmm. You know, we have about 10 specialties in dentistry, oral musculofacia, periodont uh, periodontology, orthodontics and all that. But medicine, we have more specialties under um, medicine, mm -hmm. you know. But, you know, dentistry is lucrative because we have few dentists in Nigeria and only few schools offer dentistry, about maybe four or five uh, universities offer dentistry. And of course, the population is huge. 
mm. population is huge. So uh, dentistry is actually lucrative. But when I was in school, I didn't really believe in it. But it was when I started practicing that I know it's 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 cool to be a dentist. Oh, you know. Okay. So. I know quite a number of dentists because I work in pharmaceutical industry okay. and I know quite a number of dentists who also work in pharmaceutical industry. Okay. Like, I just want to get your perception or perspective on this. Do you think that people who study dentistry compared to other medical fields okay. are most likely to not practice, in your opinion? Yes, in the sense that, you know, dentistry is about is is an art you know how to ability to make use of your hands mm. you know you combine the theory with practical you know and if you don't know how to do let's say an extraction that's one of the basic dental um basic dental treatments you know it may be difficult for you to practice and because a lot of people a lot of dentists now some of them didn't choose dentistry as a cause. Mm. They either chose uh, medicine or pharmacy and were given dentistry. <laughs> so, as they didn't really believe in that cause. So, they just said, okay, let me just. For some reason, I chose pharmacy and get dentistry, but the other way around. You know somebody that had that? Oh, well, but I, I mean, many people chose medicine yeah, ahead of dentistry. Was, uh, you know, but I don't really know much about them. Someone that chose pharmacy, okay. they got uh, so that dentistry. Would be interesting. So, <laughs> so, so so just find out some because they didn't believe in it they just okay let's switch to working in the bank we've, we'll see a dentist working in the bank or mm -hmm. working in the pharmaceutical to be a detailer mm. you know you know like that but it's good to be a, to be a practicing dentist you know mm. you can work can work till when you are 60 70 years and you are still good to go but I was told that the lifespan of a dentist is, um, let's say, 30 years. As in, in terms of practice, mm. you know, that after, by the time you start getting to like 30, you may not be able to do some certain... Is it because you're working with your hands? Yeah, it got, it, and it has to do with, like now, I've done so many extractions and I've started having like pain <laughs> in my... Sorry. Like pain. So, you know, because you have to do a lot of, you have to use a lot of your strength your hand and all that to do some dental procedures okay that's interesting so you said i mean during NYC, of course you probably you worked in public um, practice right yes so and you said you came back home and started the mobile clinic but did you work in any other public or other private uh, yes clinics? yes or when i was or? when i was when I was serving, I also attached myself to a private clinic. Okay. So I will work in the government's um, dental center in the morning, then in the afternoon after close of work, I resume to a private clinic. And the reason why I attached myself to the private clinic is to be able to acquire skill. Mm. Because dental is about skill. If you don't have the skill, you can't, you can't be successful in dentistry. So I was able to gain a lot of skill you know from the put the private practice and the government because we're seeing a lot of patients at the mm. government um, center you know yeah. kano is densely populated so mm. uh, you know i was doing up to like 20 to 30 extractions a day then then there used to be a lot of um, road traffic accident from mm. okada and other because a lot of mm. they call it uh, a chaba in okay. kano yeah. so yeah. so we're doing a lot of um fracture fixing fracture cases you know okay. you know so i was able to acquire a lot of skill when i was seven so and that is really helping me at this time yeah okay fantastic so there's also this perception i mean it could be wrong mm. that Maybe I don't know if it's Nigerians or people in general. Okay. People don't go to the dentist really for routine, as in just routinely. Yeah. I know you've talked about more severe mm. cases in yep. your practice in Kano, where you're practicing in Kano. I don't know why, like, what are the most common cases that you see? And is it true that people don't really come to the dentist? Yeah, truly, people don't really come to the 
dentist so one because the awareness is very what well, well, is improving now because from you know our mobile dentistry because we it's community based we go to communities we give our health education we go to schools we go to religious institutions churches mm. mosques and all that to educate so the awareness is uh, is improving but because another thing is the aside the awareness the cost dental treatments you know a lot of people um can't really afford dental treatments mm. you know like extraction in, in a private clinic can can be as high as like 15 to 20k for simple extraction and all that mm. so now because of the cost people rather want to use their money to buy food <laughs> or do so you know the basic things of like than coming to the dental clinic um so the awareness is not that yeah. and it's not there but we are working hard the nigeria dental association is also working out to do some oh, nice. awareness so that people can come in and also dental clinics you only have dental clinics centered in the urban centers oh, nice. yeah you know rural communities they don't have dental now even dentists don't want to go to rural areas yeah, you know yeah, so, <laughs> so when you go to rural areas you see a lot of uh, poor rural hygiene yes. having dental issues to decay and all that okay but i mean just walking into your clinic today it, yes. it, 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 it doesn't seem like people are not really coming to the dentist <laughs> because your clinic was packed hmm. right so i mean that being said can you tell me if are most of your patients, you know, covered under insurance or are most of them paying out of pocket? Well, most of my patients pay, let's say, 80% pay out of pocket. Mm. And because of the mobile aspect of our, well, the mobile dentistry or mm. mobile uh, dentistry business, or aspect of our business, mm. you know, we go to communities and all that and we treat them well. And of course, those people that we treated, they are friends, they are relatives and all that. At the end of the day, they come into our clinic. So our clinic is, is always very busy, you know. And because of, you know, what we've been doing in the past, we always give the best for, for our patients, you know. So we have a lot of referrals, mm. a lot of referrals. So both within and outside. Like today now, the, the patient I saw came all the way from U.S. to come and have Oh, is wow. dental treatment so we've been getting patients from outside the country too mm. nigerians you know dental treatment is very expensive outside the country so because they believe in us because of our ratings so they come during their holidays they come to have their dental and those cases are advanced cases and they are always very happy yeah it's true yeah, and like, i think like in america for instance i think even the dental care is not covered under their own yes 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 and it's very expensive, yeah, very expensive. Okay, so yes. that makes a lot of sense yes so <laughs>